Rip the Apprentice. Happy Sunday, everyone, and welcome back to another Art Kit Sunday. This is December 2023 Art Kit Project, and it has been a minute, but we are going to be doing a unboxing, swatching, demo, and review, and we are going to get through this Art Kit and hopefully find out some good things about it. So this is the 62-piece Art Alternative Watercolor Art Set. Um, this was picked up from Walmart, my local Walmart, and it was wrapped in plastic, but I did go ahead and remove it before I turned the camera on just to keep the lights from reflecting in the case. So, 62-piece um, watercolor art set. Yeah, then it shows a picture of everything that's included inside the case. Um, Art Alternatives logo printed on the bottom right hand corner. Let's flip it over. Let's see here. Watercolor art set. There are 20 watercolor paint tubes that are six milliliters a piece, 16 watercolor cakes, six watercolor pencils, four brushes, one paint palette, 10 wheels, which has 10 wheels, two HB pencils, one eraser, one pencil sharpener, 10 sheets, five by seven drawing paper and one metal carrying case. Use our watercolor art set for on-the-go practice, lightweight and, lightweight and compact. It offers all of the basic tools you're required to practice for artistic skills and improve your watercolor techniques. It's not a toy, not intended for children under the age of 13. And uh, let's see. Is any, I think it's a 2020 Art Supplies Enterprise. And way Sooth is in Georgia. Uh, principal, I'm sorry, pencils are made in Taiwan. Other components made and assembled in China. So the pencils, the, I want to assume the watercolor pencils as well as the HP pencils are made in Taiwan. And everything else is made and assembled in China. Okay, so there you have it. Let's go ahead. Oh, and it does conform to the ASTM D4236 regulation. We'll slide this sleeve off here and we will pop this kit open and take a look inside. It is a pretty cool, it's thin metal. It's a thin metal tin, but it has a weight to it because of everything that's in it. Let's open it up here. Get that all on camera. Okay. Let's put everything back. And this is, would definitely be something that I would consider um, a practice set. Uh, we're going to get into looking at all of this in just a minute. So we have this foam pad dividing our pencils, brushes, HB pencils, there's our, it said drawing paper, but um, it looks like it's a watercolor paper. It looks like it's a watercolor paper, so we're definitely going to be trying all of that. Let's see here. Let's just start with the tubes. So here you have a aluminum tube. It looks like the, you know, um, medicine tube style uh, art alternatives, watercolors. This color is orange yellow. It lets you know that it is six milliliters. That is all the information you get. I'm gonna assume that it has a foil covering because there is a little piercer in the cap. And I recognize the light medicine style tubes. They all have to be pierced. So um, right off the bat, I do not think I'm gonna allow these to dry down in a palette. I will just be painting with those directly from the tubes. Um, next here, we have some watercolor cakes. Um, and this is definitely a set that targets, um, they're going to be targeting school grade and beginners. That's what they're going to be targeting. Um, those cakes look pretty dry there. It's going to be interesting to see um, how they paint out. More than likely, they're going to be, they're going to have a lot of fillers in them. I'm gonna go ahead and set myself up for that now so that, um, you know, cause I, I just kinda know what I'm getting into by looking at them. Um, I'm not sure how the paint in the tubes are gonna be, but I'm assuming they may be somewhere in the same ballpark. We got a little flower palette here. It's actually a cute little palette. Um, and pencil sharpener. 
a standard hole size there. Just, you know, I've seen these type of pencil sharpeners in a lot of art kits. You have your standard white vinyl style eraser. And let's see here, there is five by seven cards of watercolor paper. This is definitely watercolor paper. I wonder if our alternative sells their own watercolor paper. We're gonna go take a look at that before I get around to the review section so we can talk a little bit more in depth about that. But yeah, those seem to be five by seven really good watercolor cards. And it has a pretty decent tooth to it actually. It's lightweight, somewhere between 90 and 115 pounds, maybe somewhere in there. It's, um, it will really just depend on what company was making it. It kind of reminds, it, the weight on it is kind of like the Canson graduate watercolor paper that I've started to use with binding some of my journals. Uh, so we will be testing that. You have your octagon style barrel that is domed on the end. It has a color chip. The barrel is the color that's of the lid of the pencil. Um, it says all alternatives, lemon yellow. That's the only thing printed on the pencil. It's not as light as I was expecting it to be. So maybe not the cheapest of wood to make the pencil, maybe so. Pretty solid pencil, I guess. Be interesting to see how those are. All right. I can't tell if they're centered yet. It looks like they are from the pre-sharpening, but we will definitely be sharpening those to see. Let's see here. We have an HB drawing pencil, which is a pretty nice, um weight pencil uh doesn't make too harsh of lines but hard enough to get some really good contour drawing easy enough to erase same style of pencil just different color this one seems to be a, a deeper blue bluish green maybe blue possibly i see some green in that um and of course it is domed as well so can't really tell if that is centered. And then there are some, oh, yeah. Well, they are all alternative brushes, so they do have their logo printed on them. This is a number four flat. Seems to be golden tack line, but yeah. I can tell you right now, I'm not using those brushes. <clears throat> they seem to be like your standard run of the mill brushes that you find in the variety packs. You guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, so there you have it. That's what everything looks like. That's what's included. So we are going to get started. We're gonna be using the art kit to create, but first we want to swatch. So I wanna swatch all the watercolors. I wanna swatch the watercolor pencils. And yeah, so we'll pull out a sheet of the paper. And let's make sure we are on the yeah, that's the front. It would have to be. And we are going to start with swatching. Oh, let's just go ahead and get these little pan paints out the way. I don't have much hope for those. I want to start with those first. And then we will move on to the tubes and then the pencils. And then we will create with this. Yes, we will. I'm kind of excited about the creative process because even if they're really, really, you know, economical products that don't have the best quality, I'm still gonna, I'm still inspired to create. I always am whenever I do one of the art kits. And some of the art kits turn out really good and some of them don't. Um, but let's get us on our way. As we go through swatching, I did want to just tell you guys a little bit that I discovered about Art Alternatives Art Company. There's not much information out there. I did um, go to the artalternatives.com um, website um, and hit up their about page. And the Art Alternative story basically says that they're based in the San Francisco Bay Area. 
Um, they're a small creative group designing art supplies, essentials at great prices. So we can uh, um, afford to make so that they can afford, excuse me, to make art a part of, you know, basically everyday life. Launched in 2000 and specializing in art surfaces, including over 350 sizes and styles of canvases and panels, as well as black books and 1000 plus other creative tools and supplies. All alternatives is available nationwide at independent art stores and online. Their mission is to make artistic expression affordable for anyone who feels inspired to do it. And uh, as I've said, maybe I've said it before, maybe not. Um, this company really puts me in the mind uh, along the lines of like uh, Royal and Langnickel. Um, there are some other brands like um, Joanne's House brand. Uh, I forget the name of it. But they all kind of remind me of each other. Those budget grade paints that are really targeted or budget grade art supplies in general that are really targeted towards students and beginners in whatever art medium they may be taking up. Now, they offer a wide range of supplies. Um, it covers everything from paints and gessos, tapes, storage, sketchbooks and journals, uh, pens, markers. And mind you, their alcohol markers are a little expensive i will say that um and they do easels things for drawings and drafting cutting canvases and surfaces and they also have products that target kids so pretty much all around um a budget company that you can find in most of your big box stores i did a little uh location for where you can find them in my area and it looks like they're sold mostly in places like michael's joann's walmart um, those everyday ready, readily available stores that you could get to that will sell economical art supplies. So you've seen me go through swatching here. And um, the reason I told you guys more about the company than talked about the swatching is because directly after this, we are going to be, you know, talking about the swatching a little bit, a little in depth, um, simply because this is a all through video that contains a review so i'm just finishing up swatching out the colors and i'm using a um, synthetic squirrel filbert if i'm not mistaken um to swatch those out and it worked out really well uh the cakes no absolutely not the tubes were pretty decent and um here i'm getting into swatching out the watercolor pencils now there's not a lot of them in the set but the great thing about watercolor pencils just like paint you can blend the colors together to make other colors so um, i'm swatching those out and i'm going to disperse them with water using a um, flat uh, golden tack on synthetic brush i think it's, it was a master's touch brush if i'm not mistaken um that black pencil was a little wonky and out of shape um so you know that was something to kind of take note of um, again, budget art company, so I'm not expecting every single thing about it to be perfect, but I am just kind of testing to get an overall feel of what the entire kit offers. So now here you're going to see me actually blend some of those colors, to those primary colors together from the pencils to make secondary colors. Um, just to show you that they were blending, uh, although again, the pigmentation to the pencils aren't really great. So I'm gonna blend these out and then we are gonna jump on into moving on with the video. So the swatching didn't actually go too bad. I learned a little bit about the products that are in the kit um, simply from the swatching and I have decided on what I would like to use in the little demo. Let's run through a few things really quickly just based on the swatching. Um, the tubes themselves are probably the best product in the kit. They were pretty full. The paint and binder ratio um, is mixed consistently. There's no separation coming out of the tube. I do hate the fact that they are like the medicine style tube with the puncture top, but um, they screw on pretty securely, no issue there. Uh, so I definitely want to give these a try, swatching them out from wet to dry. There was not a huge shift um, in the color vibrancy. They seem to be on the same level as like a Royal and Lang Nickel, maybe a Reeves, that type of budget um, grade art product. Um, so that's pretty cool. I didn't do any glazing or any color mixing with the actual tube paints because I'm just going to be doing that testing in the actual demo. 
The watercolor cakes, on the other hand, I do not care for at all. Um, they are pretty chalky, you know, not very saturated. They dull down a lot from being wet um, to dry, so there is a huge shift. You can tell that they are full of fillers and they are chalky and will rub off on the finger. So I do believe that is a miss in the kit and unfortunately, I wish they had replaced that with something else. Um, and I'm not gonna go any further with using those. There's, there's no point. Now the watercolor pencils, they are okay. Um, there is a huge shift from the wet to dry. They don't seem to be as pigmented as maybe Royal and Lane Nickel watercolor pencils are. Um, or maybe it has something to do with this paper. I'm not quite sure. They dissolved out really well. There wasn't an issue or any staining. All of the pencil itself dissolved out into that watercolor swatch. So uh, there wasn't an issue with that. They will mix together to make other augmented colors, which is pretty cool. I just hate the fact that they're not as, there's not as much of a punch as I was. I would really like for it to be. Um, now, as far as the physical aspect of the pencils, they did sharpen okay uh, to let me know that the lids are centered. However, they do seem to have a crack down the barrel as you start to sharpen them. So, you know, that lets you know that they are probably not made of the best quality wood. They're really, really light. So, there's that. And then the black itself is a little off skew there. It's not a straight pencil by any means. So there was a little defect physically with that particular pencil. So overall, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you it was a $20 art kit from Walmart. So as far as I'm concerned, the tablet paints could have been omitted. The brushes, I understand why they threw them in there, but you know, I don't think they are of the highest quality. Of course, you get your standard pencil and pencil sharpener. I sharpened the pencils in my normal electric sharpener that I have here on my desk. And I like to do that because I really do want to test to see if the lids are centered. Um, I will use the color pencils in combination with the watercolor tube paints in order to do the demo, just to do a little further testing on both of those. Then we'll jump back and give final thoughts, but we will be ex the watercolor uh, cakes at this particular point.
Okay, friends, we're done with that demo. Let's jump into reviewing um, this art kit really, really quickly. We're gonna kind of talk about things, about things in order. I'm gonna try to hit everything. Um, and then I'll just give you guys my overall opinion of the kit. So we'll start with the watercolor tubes, which I believe are probably the best product in the kit. Now, they are by no means a spectacular grade of paint. They are definitely a budget grade. I've said earlier um, in the video that they sort of remind me of Royal and Lane Nickel. Um, and I grabbed my Royal and Lane Nickel watercolor tube palette. Now, I put the Royal and Lane Nickel in here from the tube and let it dry down. Now, they do crack because they are a budget grade paint. Um, of course, a drop of glycerin does help to rectify that cracking, cracking in the palette. These paints reminded me a lot of the Royal and Lane Nickel. Now, I'm not saying by any means that they're made in the same factory, um, but they do remind me a lot of those paints. As you can see, the alternatives did dry down on the palette. And for all intents and purposes, it was okay. They didn't crack or peel off or flake up. And I painted the demo in two different intervals, two different days. So I was able to go back in and re-wet the paints without any issues in order to continue to paint. Now, I will say that as I was remixing um, the colors, that after they had dried down, there was a bit of a sort of filler granulation, which I had to mix really well in order to, you know, get the paint back solid. But it wasn't a huge deal. Um, and it's something that I've seen before with other lower quality gr budget grade paints. Now, with that being said, they work just fine. I didn't have any issues with them. There wasn't a huge shift from with the dries. I told you guys earlier, um, they cover pretty decently. The paints are pretty, uh, fourth of the beast, economic like that. Like they don't, they didn't give me a lot of opaqueness. However, I don't think that they glaze and layer well. So, you know, that's another reason I think for having the convenience colors because it helps you, um, it helps prevent from you having to mix. Although, as you guys saw from the demo, I did quite a bit of mixing and they worked okay for that. I didn't have an issue with it. Let's just go ahead and take a look here. Um, of course, this is what we painted. Um, I did some mixing to get the darker shade of burgundy red that's in the ball, um, which worked out okay. Now you can tell from this painting that this was a budget quality paint used to do it but I was able to create some pretty decent artwork, I do believe. Um, so you can see that there's a little bit of streakiness. The more I try to layer uh, that burgundy color that I mixed. Um, so there's definitely some quality control issues in it. Uh, I mean, you definitely tell you're painting with an economical paint, but you do get um, the, or, or you get close to the outcome that you may have in your head. And I do, or I will say, not I do say, or I will say that I think that this tube portion is a part that um, beginning painters could paint with and it wouldn't necessarily turn them off because the paints are not that bad by any means. Other than that, everything else I kind of said about the paints after we finished swatching them, pretty full, full tubes. Um, I just put little dots out as I swatched and I painted because I didn't want to use much of the paint out of the tubes at all. What I'm thinking is I'm going to pull the tubes and the other portions that I like out and create a separate little travel art kit bag and then I'm going to use that as a stocking stuffer and then I can remove the tray and use the actual case itself for whatever I choose to. So the next uh, product in here are going to be the watercolor cakes. Now these on the other hand um, are a complete miss for me. They are super, super chalky, filled with fillers. They will rub off on your hand. I did not even attempt um, to paint with these uh, because I didn't, I just didn't want to go through the trouble and have myself upset. Now neither set has any flow to it really, um, but you can disperse and work with the tubes much better than you can with the cakes. And I could tell that simply from the swatching. I didn't even have to do a demo with the cakes in order to know that. So this is a part that I wish they had have omitted and replaced with something else maybe. Um, but yeah, so I would avoid the cakes in this particular um, uh, particular set. Maybe what I'll do is I'll pry the cakes out, put them in little 
uh, spray bottles, put some water on it, break it down so it'll become kind of like liquid watercolor. And because of some of the um, the fillers, it may look like it has a little granulation in it and use it for like um, gel printing, use it for uh, spray coloring my pages for my journals, junk journals, things of that nature. So they won't be thrown away, but they definitely aren't anything that I'm going to paint with, but I will make something of them. Um, and we didn't use them in a the painting, so we don't have to go over that. The palette itself here, pretty cool, little flower palette. It was enough to dot out of um, paint on, do my mixing on. I didn't have to use another palette for mixing. I mean, it gets the job done. You know, it's just a little palette to help with the two paints. I didn't use the sharpener, but I'm pretty sure, you know, it's like your standard economical sharpers. I've seen the sharpening, the sharpeners, excuse me. I've seen these in like the Dollar Tree. So I'm pretty sure it's about the same quality. And I didn't open the eraser because they're pretty much all the same, your vinyl white eraser. And I like those on watercolor paper and mixed media paper because they don't, um, they have the tendency not to, you know, harm the paper when you're erasing, especially if you don't use a lot of pressure. Let's go up this way. So I did not use the brushes. I already knew from the jump they were not something that I wanted to use. Um, but I do believe that in a, in a, in a crunch, they would work. You do get a couple of different sizes here. Um, two flats, two rounds. So this is another section I think could have been replaced. Actually, to tell you the truth, I understand they call it a watercolor set. So, um, you know, if they make like watercolor crayons, those could have, a couple of those could have gone in here. Um, any, uh, or they could have taken out the brushes and expanded the number of watercolor pencils that were in the set. It, um, if there's more tubes than the ones were, that were included here, maybe those could have been, the ones that are missing could have been substituted for uh, the, the little pellet paint thingy, <laughs> candy looking paint things here. So yeah, um, there are two HB pencils in here. The HB pencils were just like any other normal way HB middle of the roll pencil. Um, here I did a little sketching with it. I was doing a little thumbnail and working out a little landscape that I think I want to do. So I draw these little thumbnails to give me a general idea of what it'll look like um, before I start trying to paint it. Um, and I use the pencil, standard HB pencil. Um, can't go wrong with that. And there's two, they sharpened well, um, because we talked about the watercolor pencils already. Uh, well, no, we haven't gotten to those yet. I'm sorry. Um, but these sharpened well, they hold a really sharp point. Um, there was no breakage when I was using it in order to do, um, the little thumbnail there. I will say that one of them is centered cause it's sharpened perfectly. The other one is a little off centered as far as the lid is concerned, because there is some unevening in the sharpening, no matter how much I tried to even it up. All right, let's move on to the watercolor pencil section. The watercolor pencils, well, they're decent, they're okay. I mean, I've seen much better, <laughs> I have. Um, I think I've seen a little worse too. Um, they dissolve really well. The pigment is not all that bright, so there's not a huge pigment load payoff, but they will work okay for like underpaintings. Um, they worked okay in combination with the watercolor tubes. Of course, you know here um, the watercolor pencils was used in order to do the first layer of red on the ball. I did a little stippling with the watercolor pencil uh, on wet paper. Um, I used the watercolor pencil in order to lay down the very light blue background. And I was able to do that after the entire composition was complete. Um, and I used that blue in the background because I used that same blue watercolor pencil in order to try to add a little depth to um, my tree branch here. Uh, and I did also use the green watercolor pencil in there on wet paper in order to make some darker um, lines that won't move or dissolve when the brush goes over it. Uh, so again, they work pretty well in combination with um, the paints. I do wish again that they were more pigmented but you know they're probably the second best product in here 
They sharpened pretty decently. They hold an okay point. I am concerned at the fact that each one of the pencils look at, looks like they're going to split right there on the sharpened tip. And I mean, every single one of them has it. So that I do find a little concerning. Makes me think that maybe the barrel would split down the middle at some point or another. But that's pretty much that on the watercolor pencils. So... Again, if I had to put it in order, I would go with the paints. I say the pencils are the next best product. The HB pencils are standard. You get the uh, sharpener and the uh, eraser, and then the actual carrying case itself. Now, the paper was okay. If I had to guess, it's about a 90 pound paper. It's really thin and light. I did tape it down. It buckles quite a bit. Um, with water so I was having to paint in stages and dry in between definitely in order to alleviate some of the buckling that was going on with the paper so you know it kind of puts me it puts me in the mind of you know like Royal and Lane nickel paper artist off necessities line of paper um just any of those really budget grade thin papers it's not the worst in the world it's not the best in the world you can create art on it um, so with that being said, with that being said, $20 for this kit would be worth it in my opinion, simply because you get the carrying case, you get some paper that you can practice on, whether you're going to do masterpieces or not, you can definitely practice on it. And I think it would work pretty decently for a beginner, um, because I, again, I was able to create some okay artwork on it. Um, the watercolor pencils, although they're not the most pigmented, they will be okay for doing underpaintings, for like drawing your sketches out, um, for adding a little color here or there to help enhance something. I wouldn't say I would do a complete composition with them, but I do think they work in well, and they do work well beside the watercolor tube paints in order to enhance them. So with the paints, the okay paper, the okay pencils, two HB pencils, the case, the palette, the eraser, and the sharpener. All together, I would say that is honestly about a $20 value. The cakes were throwaway. The brushes were throwaway. Um, so, if I had to say on a scale of one to five, this entire kit would probably receive about two and a half thrifty stars and i'm giving it two and a half thrifty stars simply because i think the paints um are okay for a beginner um i think a, a, a professional would have an issue probably would never even buy this set but if you're new to watercolor and you kind of wanted to get your feet wet with it you haven't been doing it long or maybe you just use it here and there maybe to add a little color to you know, a journal, or maybe you're doing a card and you're just throwing a little color on. I mean, these tubes wouldn't be bad for that at all, you know. Um, but if you are a more experienced painter, um, intermediate into um, artist, professional, then these probably wouldn't be anything you were trying to add. Again, not knocking a beginner, because I think these will work decently for you to figure out, you know, hey, is watercolor something I want to continue in? Do I really want to spend the money on better watercolors? Um, and I think these will help you determine whether, you know, this is a realm you want to play around in. Um, if I had to buy the watercolor pencil separately, I wouldn't do it. But due to the fact that they're in combination with this, I do think that they kind of add to the bag. So there you have it, guys. 20 books, not bad. Um, it's an okay, decent beginner kit especially for someone that's still in school or someone that may be brand new to watercolor outside of that i don't think it would be anything i would suggest spending the money on hopefully you guys heard saw found something that you like in this video you just enjoyed hanging out for another art kit video considering the fact that it's been so long since i've done one you just enjoyed hanging out painting alone um and enjoying the painting don't forget to give the video a thumbs up share the video sharing is caring maybe someone else would love to know about this art alternatives art kit 
hit the comment section up. Let me know what you think. What do you think about the kit? Have you used it? Are you glad I did a review because you've been curious about it? Talk to me, guys. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you're returning and you haven't subscribed. Hit that notification bell so you'll know when all of the new content comes out, both in the art and craft world, because we do it all on this channel. You can check the video description for all of the relevant links. It's going to give you the Facebook group, the most recommended product list, Etsy and Patreon, where you can support the channel in one of any of those ways. If you choose to, it's greatly appreciated. And it helps me continue to purchase things like this so I can uh, bring you guys these reviews, and demos, and field tests. Again, thank you so much for joining me for another art kit. And I, as I tell you at the end of every single video, <laughs> just keep painting and crafting.